Yo, yo, we back. Damn, it feels good. It feels weird, but it feels good to be holding the camera again, to be honest. Uh, today, boys and girls, we got legs. Not ideal. Not ideal. I love leg day, like absolutely froth leg day, but I vomit every time, um, which is fucked. Obviously, spewing out your mouth ain't any good. Uh, so today, I'm gonna be filming myself do that. Put money on it. Today, the day I film, the one day like vomiting would be kind of cool because I could film it. I bet it's not gonna happen, uh, which would be good, but yeah. So obviously, vomiting every time you do legs is fucking pretty shit. So I do, am I focused right now? Yeah, I am. I do, I don't dread leg day. I like, I actually enjoy leg day itself, but then every time I come to the hack squat, so I vomit at the same time every time. It's, it's a set after, so like the second set on the hack squat. Um, and yeah, it's just, oh, it just makes the day really shit, like, Half the time I don't eat breakfast because I'm just like, fuck, whatever I eat, I'm gonna be tasting a second time when I vomit, which is not fun. So yeah, today's just fucking rough, to be honest. I'm feeling okay though. Like today's like, leg day today, we pushed back a couple of hours. Usually we train at 10, today we're trained at 12. So hopefully that has a bit of a, uh, I don't know, fucking just helps me not vomit, to be honest. I used to vomit when I played sport as well. Like I was just a hell nervous person, so. Yeah, vomiting is just something I'm gonna have to get used to, I think. Only leg day though. I swear like, some days I, I mean, obviously nothing's harder than leg day, but I push just as hard on any other day. And yeah, I think the nerves just get to me a bit, to be honest. Just a bit of a bitch when it comes to uh, my stomach. I've, uh, I've finished my first meal approximately, fuck, what's the time? 10.50, about 50 minutes ago. Uh, feeling a bit uneasy. Yeah, not a good sign. So I'm thinking I might head in early. I'm training with Bailey today. I'm thinking I might head in early and um, I don't know, just do some steps or something so that hopefully my food digests a bit better. Because I've only got an hour and 10 minutes until we start. So that might be the move. I'm already feeling like dry reaching. So, hey, hey, we back boys. Am I moving all over the shop? No, I'm good. So today you're getting the joy of running through my leg workout with me. Not much else to say other than that, really. Let's get into it. Alrighty. Fuck, come on. There we go. All right, first exercise here you are seeing is the adductor machine. Uh, as you can see, I got a 20 loaded on there. The machine's pretty light. Usually I have a gym pin, which is just like a little thing that you like slide into the, um, to the weight stack there. And you can put more 20s on the outside. Didn't have that. So this set is meant to be like a six to 12 range, like a pretty low rep. Uh, but it ended up being like 20 or something reps because it, uh, I didn't have enough weight, to be honest. So you're probably wondering why the fuck is this man doing good girls and bad girls on a leg day? And the reason behind that is, I would also have thought that about six months ago. The reason behind that is basically it's a good warm up for my hips and, um, the adductor, believe it or not, like the bit that runs down the middle of my leg, I can't really fucking show, I'll get up and show you. This bit that runs like here is, um, takes up a large portion of the old chunk of the leg. So when you're looking at the leg from the front, depending on how you angle it, uh, your adductor can create a bit of an illusion and make your leg look fucking huge. So yeah, hitting adductors is definitely underrated. And it's just, yeah, it's just a good warm up to get into, um, you don't want to get into a squat straight away. Well, I don't anyway. It's just not a fun time. So yeah, this is uh, starting to get pretty hard here. I'm starting to struggle a bit. There we go. And I'm fucking out of there. The pain you get from this machine at the end of a set is fucking ridiculous. Like it's a ball pump. You literally get a ball pump. Uh, anyway, second exercise. Usually this is seated ham curl. Uh, that was taken by a lady who was very into her phone. So we weren't going to wait around. So we went to the line. Uh, Hamstrings for me are very weak, to be honest. So I'm not I'm not great at this exercise. I do get a good contraction and a good feel in my hamstrings, but I'm I'm pretty weak at it. So basically, I'm just focusing on a slow eccentric and a, a reasonable concentric, so that I get a good feel in my hamstrings. Uh, this is just a top set, so this is another set of six to twelve. Uh, I like with muscles that I don't really feel as well. I like to up the rep range a bit because obviously if I'm doing like six reps, I'm probably not going to be getting the best feel in my hamstrings. Um, this looks a lot easier on camera than it did. Well, it felt in real life. Like that rep there was like painful and hard and it looks like I fucking did it with ease. Um, anyway, into the hack squat. This is what we've all been waiting for. Um, this is fucked. 
this is absolutely fucked. If you've ever used a Cybex hack, I do reverse band it. I used to use a thicker black band, now I use a bit of a thinner green band. Um, but if you've ever used this hack, it is brutal out of the hole, which is why we reverse band. Again, if you want to learn how to, what reverse band does, look it up. There's way better explanations than I can make here. I've got five and a half plates on here. I got this for like 14, I believe. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to just shut up here and I'll let you listen to the rest of this set because it's pretty fucking hectic. Um, yeah, enjoy. Come on. Come on. <laughs> all righty we're back i did run out of i ran out of space there while i was watching that so lucky i paused um last exercise of the day is uh this seated car phrase this is brutal i'm sure all of you have tried a seated car phrase basically it's just the same thing here six to twelve on this one and then a back offset of 10 to 15 i'm really focusing on the stretch and the contraction of this as you can see i pause in both like Obviously, it doesn't look like a pause at the top, but it feels like one. Uh, I try to pause at both like portions of the movement, so at the bottom when I'm stretched and at the top when I'm contracted. Uh, and this just fires up the calves real well. I really like seated, hand, uh, seated calf. I hit the standing throughout the week on like separate days, but the seated on leg day is brutal. And the pain to get in your quads because they're so pumped and that pad sitting on them, fucking rough as shit. Um, but yeah, this set, just finish out this set, and then that concludes the leg day. Then at the end, we got a quick little pump check coming right up. Legs not looking too bad. They're coming along pretty nicely. Um, but yeah, that's my leg day. Uh, I missed an exercise of filming, but I'll explain that in the next clip. So. Why am I so dark? Oh, I'm going to be straight up with you right now. I did not film my leg press set or actually no, I did film calves but like after that hack squat guys I just did not feel like filming so yeah we do a we do a cluster set on the leg press after the hack squat you basically pick a weight to failure of 12 and then you rack it you rest for 20 straight back into it for 8 rest for 20 straight back into it for 5 and we just do one set of that um yeah I was in the coffin, bro, I called it. I did not vomit today. First time in like 10 weeks, I haven't spewed. But, <coughs> fuck. I keep getting a watery mouth and doing that. Not fucking good. Yeah, of course, one day I'm feeling I don't spew. Fuck, I keep trying, ooh. <coughs> uh oh. Fuck. Dead set that I was going to spill myself in the car. <clears throat> yeah. As you can see, legs is fucking not ideal, boys. Not ideal. Now I just got to head home. My appetite is fucked. I literally. This is how much I got through my intra workout carbs. Like, I didn't even drink my carbs. And now I got to have a shake with carbs and protein. And then get home and I've got like 150 grams of Cocoa Pops. Fucking brutal. Uh, 